Well, City's fixture list is made up of four teams that really don't have much to play for. Um, we've got Crystal Palace, obviously, Leicester, West Brom and Watford. Those teams can either be complete pushovers at the end of the season or they can be the ones that are the worst to play um, because there's very little pressure on them. Um, I think United's fixture list is a little bit more compact. Uh, they've got the Europa League semi-finals, obviously, and they've got a much tougher fixture list. So I would give City the edge there. Yeah, I would, I would say that I am fairly confident of finishing in the top four places, but only because of United's pretty pretty packed fixture list. Their legs are going to be much heavier than ours and, and we've got to take advantage. Yeah, I do think they would have kept the job. Um, our owners have proven in the past that they're football men as well as businessmen and I think they're very aware of the task on Guardiola's hands. Um, I think Guardiola is really starting to realise what a job he has to do now because this squad is in, is in massive need of an overhaul. Uh, we lined up against Arsenal in the semi-final with five players um, above the age of 31 or I think it was five only five players who weren't above the age of 31, something like that is. Either way, it's, it's very worrying and there are a lot of positions that we need to address. And so to sack any manager after the first season in charge with a squad that needs so much work uh, would be a pretty ridiculous decision. So no, I think that our owners are, are quite sensible and uh, they, would, they will give any manager who comes to the club time. Well, against Middlesbrough, I think it was quite clear that he's that he's not fully fit yet. Leroy Sane and, and Raheem Sterling came very came onto the pitch very early in the second half and, and, and we instantly improved after that. So I think Pep Guardiola will go with wingers and maybe just one forward against Palace. You know, he, he, when he plays, he, he always seems to bag a goal. He, he's a great player, but um, I think the main threat will come from the wings. Uh, they've really got a point to prove. They've not been playing particularly well recently, I think. Um, you know, a very cluttered season is is getting to their legs, but uh, I think the threat will come from from either Sane or Sterling in this game. I think our weaknesses are very, very <laughs> clear to see at fullback. We're particularly bad there. Um, Gail Clichy's played pretty much every game for us in the last two months, so I, I wouldn't be surprised to see him starting at left back. And obviously, Wilfred Zahar should be. Um, licking his lips about the prospect of facing Clichy. I feel bad saying it because Clichy's been a great servant to the club and he, he's a great professional, but um, age has just capped, uh, caught up to him this season and he's, he's been quite quite far and away at our, um, our worst player. If he's going to be going with the same lineup as he has um, in previous fixtures, then it's going to be Jesus Navas and he's not a defender and he's also not an attacker. He's just there. He's just a guy that we throw onto the pitch. Uh, I really don't see what he offers so Palace should be targeting our um, our fullbacks definitely and, and you could get a lot of luck there. You really can't predict with City. Uh, it, it looks like we're ready for the season to end. Um, playing at home doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to be playing any better. I mean I think across the, the whole season we've probably been better um, away from home but I've, I've got to be optimistic and I'll go with a 2-1.